So, um, are you recording? Yeah. Good. Well, um, so my name's Ed Cook, and I think interesting, uh, most interesting person's really cool, just for the very simple reason that, oh, come on, put yourself together. Um, um, uh, yeah, for the rather simple reason that, um, that I actually believe that in the, um, the modern world with kind of infinite access to information, curiosity is, is generally suppressed. It's actually quite difficult to expose oneself to, uh, to new kinds of interest and so on and so forth, simply because the kind of the well-designedness of kind of the channels of kind of attention which we're drawn through just generally make us kind of ogle the BBC Sports results just the whole time, you know, and basically limit our attention. So I said anything which kind of generates new means of access to the cool stuff which is going on is good. That was succinct. Now we are in uh, Trafalgar Square here in London, which is a place where I taught the technique which I used to remember long amounts of information. Now the first hundred digits of pi are uh, 3.1415965358973348462645328327958281 it carries on. And the way I'd learned that, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, Yes, and the way I learned that is um, I would basically take an image for each number and I'd array the images around the place. So three might be a tree. So I'd imagine a tree here and you can imagine a tree growing up here. And then I pop down here and then it would be like one, four, one, five. And so I might, might imagine like one, four playing cricket. So whacking a four there and then one, five. So high-fiving someone here. And then as I kind of carried on round, what I'd be doing would be I'd be leaving images all over the place on balustrades, on statues, on lights, and so on and so forth. And the beauty of this system is, it's a kind of like entertaining exercise for the brain, which allows you just to perceive the world, but perceive it as full of memories. <laughs> and memories are exceptionally um, fun to perceive in the world. And one of the things I particularly love about this technique is that um, this is anyway our experience of space, right? Our experience of space is an experience of things which are full of memories. And so when I pass around this area, I see images of things I've learned in the past. I see uh, George Washington just over there. And I remember George Washington as Jaws the shark washing himself tons. And I see other images everywhere. And um, it's a place which is kind of laden with memory, but with a function. And so that's my thing. I've chosen Katie, uh, first of all, because she's young. And I think, um, you know, young people are kind of generally treated by adults as somehow kind of lacking in seriousness or talent or the rest of it. But actually, more often than not, it's the opposite of the case. She sings like she's been in love, but she's far too young to have done so, and is therefore empirical disproof of the idea that <coughs> emotion uh, has to come from experience. Do a little dance. Oh, do a little dance, yeah, definitely. Do 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 do.